you ever meditated upon how glorious I am, I recommend that you do it daily for optimal enlightenment. So, as you might have surmised from the title of the video, astrology is actually legit. Now I want to apologize, actually, because I have many years ago before I became the enlightened one. Now I'm merely jesting, I'm still only a humble poet, a seeker of truth. Anyway, many years ago in a video I said that astrology was bro science or pseudoscience. For that I am sorry. Mea culpa, my fault, I retract my, my blasphemous words. So anyway, this will be familiar to anyone who is an enjoyer of the greatest podcast. I have talked about my first revelation as it pertains to astrology or rather how the moon and the moon phases how they affect us humans or animals or or the planet as a whole so the story is a few years back i deadlifted a lot as you will have seen in my many training videos and since i live uh, quite disciplined life that my routines are basically always the same. I can pinpoint different factors if I feel a bit stronger during a day or if I feel weaker a day I can usually pinpoint what is the difference. So a few sessions over a period of half a year something like that I noticed that I was significantly stronger um, or noticeably stronger during certain days and they happened to be on full moon. Then I talked to some other High Thumos guys and they had noticed the same pattern. So that was the very first astrology red pill for me. So in acknowledging that the moon phases can affect us then it's you know reasonable to say that the stars, how they align, can also affect us. Now, speaking of the full moon, by the way, there has been a study in uh, good old England which pointed to uh, an increase in violent crime during full moon. And then also, if we're talking about more historically speaking, you have terms such as lunatic, luna, the moon, you have terms like moon mad and stuff like that. So, the the notion that the moon will influence human behavior it's not something new it's uh, common folklore knowledge wisdom so anyway that about the full moon now speaking of astrology there are of course those who take it too far who view humans as mere pawns of destiny that we can't influence our own fate and stuff like that this is of course um, an unheroic worldview which I do not subscribe to. So for me, of course, you can influence your destiny. You can definitely make your own luck, as it were. Now, what we can say, though, is that if we know, for example, that the moon faces, perhaps you have noticed this yourself, that you feel sometimes a certain sense of unease, sometimes your sleep might be a bit restless and sometimes perhaps you feel a bit more aggressive or whatever it can be. So knowing when full moon is, I always look it up every month when full moon is so that I can prepare for you know certain energies and then I, of course I want to use them as um, as much as possible so that's why I always try to train something at, uh, at full moon and I suggest you do the same so that you use those energies in a productive manner uh, and then of course also if you know that you feel a bit uneasy at certain times if you know why if you know that okay I feel uneasy because it's full moon uh, yeah it's good because then your mind doesn't have to search so much for why am I uneasy, have I forgotten to do something, have I a problem that needs to be solved, everything like that. So it's recommended to know, in this case at least, the moon phases. Now I'm no expert in astrology yet. Do let me know by the way in the comment section below if 
there is an interest for me having some sort of based astrologer on uh, in an interview I could definitely do that and then I will of course not choose some um, hippie new age astrologer I will choose someone with a with an understanding of uh, of the genetic the biological component of spirituality that's always a good way to distinguish between the sincere ones and the new age hippie ones so yeah let me know in the comment section below but from what I can tell right now astrology it's not about saying these stars will come into this constellation and they will come into this sign and therefore something bad will happen and you can't do anything about it but it's more that on a personal level you might feel a bit in a certain way because of the stars so therefore it can be good beforehand to know that yes during this period I will feel more unfocused or focused or I will feel down, I will feel moody, I will feel angry or whatever it might be. It can be good to prepare beforehand so that you know what sort of energies that will come to you. So in a similar way as the moon faces, okay full moon is coming up therefore I will plan a good session or um, or something like that. And on a social scale of course it can be good as well that if many people feel in a certain way uh, they feel more aggressive yeah perhaps there's a heightened uh, risk of violent unrest or war or um, or whatever I will not go in more into detail about that but you understand what I'm getting at astrology is not about everything is predetermined because the stars um, control everything it's rather that the the way the stars align it can influence certain energies here on earth which can only can it may it might influence human behavior so that is my take on astrology that you should definitely acknowledge it but you shouldn't overestimate it and you should definitely not be a uh, you know helpless victim in the in the eyes of the skies so to speak so basically you are your own man or your own woman you have your own agency you make your own luck but if you know what sort of energies that will hit you all the better so anyway long story long story indeed I just wanted to say that and yeah do let me know if I if there is an interest for a uh, for an interview with an astrologer and I will I will make it happen for you my esteemed audience so, as always, do check out all the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. XXO, 